Well, the question is, if you don't know and you're not from here perhaps, why exactly did Aiken mm -hmm. become the equine place to be? WJBF News Channel 6's Ashley Bridges went out to Aiken to get answers and by the sound of all the rain on the top of our studio right now, she has sailed back into Television Park to tell us all about it. <laughs> Brad and Jenny, I did. I spent my day out at the Aiken training track and I was up to the tops of my galoshes in rain and that precious dirt that Aiken thoroughbreds train on. Take a look. I don't know if there's any other place in the world with this kind of history. Aiken, Aiken is for horses, really. But why? The answer is twofold. You may not believe it with today's downpour, but the weather is actually what made Aiken horse country for wealthy northern snowbirds. They came down here and started some wintering down here to get away from the cold winters and sort of discovered that when they brought their polo horses, this would be a great place for horses, period. Another reason is dirt cheap. The, the sand out at the track is really soft on their feet. It's a perfect place to train horses. After several notable families flocked to Aiken, the Aiken training track started in 1941. Its seemingly quaint quarters have beat the odds. Well, if you're in the thoroughbred business, you have to train at the Aiken training track. That's just the way it is. But a small town like Aiken, 39 champions, national champions, that doesn't happen often. That reputation has all but paved the way for Aiken's identity. The way the streets are made, the dirt roads are still here for horse traffic, the 70 acre, the, the acreage that's the Hitchcock Woods. And it doesn't take strong horse sense to know that that means money. It's a rolling snowball effect. One person needing something, needing another product for feed, for hay, em employs more people. While other places have big races with big stakes, those places aren't Aiken. It's, it's living in, in a bygone era where uh, things were a little slower. Uh, a little calmer. And I've been to Saratoga and I've been to Keeneland and Churchill Downs and they're all wonderful places, but they're not Aiken. And to learn a lot more about Aiken's horse history, you can visit the Thoroughbred Museum to see the trophies and the silks. Southern Living was out there today too. And you can actually even watch some videos of some of those big wins. Brad and Jenny.